The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. Listen if you want to. Okay, welcome. Hi, this is Kim with her other hosts, Courtney and Chloe. Oh, thank not, you for that intro. Who is not yeah, the main such host? Such a great intro. Well, as the as the number one host here. Cute. You were just I the first to speak. You're not number one. Well, You're wouldn't that not. make me number one because I was the number one to talk? The no, first you were just talk. the first to open your big mouth. Which I think means that's what yeah. makes, that means I think that counts for something legally. No. No. The, you talk too much. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to episode eighty-one. Now we're finally starting. Um, I just want to say that I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you all had a great um, I March. Ate, I hope you ate your vegetables. Well, we're always hoping for that because that's salad, and when, you know we're yeah. big advocates for salad here. I hope you ate a big bowl of salad. It could be yeah. fruit salad as well. No, let's, please, please, well, please, let's not. Um, but yeah, yeah you can have great. a fruit salad uh-huh. using yep. just one fruit. And we're going to move on. So anyway, so segment one, listener response. Now, before we get into your questions and everything that you left at simgmproductions.com slash podcast, we have a little bit of fan art that was sent into us. Mm-hmm. One says Chloe fan art. And I'm going to check it out right now. And it is. It's very creative, I will say. Okay, this is from Moonlighting Acha. Is that how you say it? Moonlight Gotcha. Moonlight yeah. Gotcha. Now let's see what it says here. It says, so Cardassians, I decided to do some fan art of our queen, fighter and survivor. Well, I am a queen oh and I am a fighter and survivor. Sure. So it's me and a very, I have to say, this is a very, um, I forgot what you Sensual. call it. Sensual. No, it's no. Very pr- type- provocative. Pose. No, I'm talking about the style. It's very, I forgot what they call it. Uh, the like style looks like for our listeners. The style looks like when you're sketching out what like a dress will look like or something for a mannequin. There's a word for it, and I can't think of it. Like very like artistic, Some fancy art um, word. Forgot the word, but it's like like not realism, but it's stylized. Oh my god! Kind of. It says fighting and surviving. Chloe, it's not the, like you studied art. You go, girl. I am our fighter and survivor mode. Hashtag revenge body. There's a cockroach. And it says booty, booty, pop juice to go. And like You a guys pop. have a booty, oh, booty, cool. pop juice to go? Yeah, we do. I mean, we have, I mean, that's, you say that like it's funny. Like, I mean, like it's nothing. Like You guys have pop-up shops with... Yeah, booty, like booty, so now you guys go. are just like a new yeah they do or something. I mean they do. I mean like I'm not. It's not my business, but like I you could have it. shared that with the fans. Yeah, well, no, I mean, or not. My fans know what's up, and just because you two don't pay attention to the what's going on with the brand is not on me. Why would I pay attention to a failing brand? Anyway, thank you so much for sending that in, that beautiful artwork. I you like know, that they got your roots, too. Yeah, they got roots. Roots are very important with blonde hair. Very, very, not, very not important. Really. Not, I mean, it's not, like, required. You don't and if you're need gonna, to have roots. Mm, and if you're going to do Platinum Bomb with no roots, you better be the right person like that me. can work that. Yeah. The right There's only so many people that can work it, and I am one of those not, people. One of them. That's an opinion, and you have every right to be wrong. Um, but then we also have another fan art. It's for Courtney. Now it's for Courtney, so it's obviously not as big a deal because wow. you know it's not wow. my art. But it's called. It's from No No Glow. Okay, and it says I was inspired by the talks of fan art as of late, so I had to make some fan art of this skinny legend and icon, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. How would you describe this piece? I would say it looks pretty sexy. It That's looks it. You it don't want to describe looks it. Like it was like painted. What it is is it it's, has good texture. It's I don't Courtney. Know what else to say. It's Courtney, and she's winking at the camera with yeah. her very expressive face. Very stylized, made her look a lot prettier than she really is. Cleared um, up some skin well, blemishes. Mm-hmm. I think it looks pretty accurate. The hair is on point. The long wavy hair. Now in my, the corner. Now in the my corner. My nails look pretty good. 
Yeah, you wish your nails looked like that. Now, in the corner, it says, like, there's, like, a little logo that can either be their signature or something that they used. Like, I'm not sure. It almost looks like the sign, like a Disney. Yeah. You're giving Courtney way too much credit. You made her look like... No, that's what the symbol looks like. I know, but I'm talking about No No Glow. You gave her way too much credit in, like, beauty standards. Like Very (sighs) beautiful. Like, extra beautiful. Yeah, the shading's good. The makeup's great. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. It's the ideal, Courtney. Yeah. Thank you so much for sending in that fan art. I know there's other art out there, and we freaking love it. So just keep doing it. Keep expressing how you love me um, through art. You know what I mean? I'd like some glow, glow, glow art. I mean, I know somebody drew the outs, had sketched the outside of one of my factories. Are you sure you want glow, glow, glow art? Well, yeah, because it's very, I know we have a lot of fans. We have a lot of people who love glow, 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 Mm. who leave great reviews. You be careful what you ask for, Kim. I think people use glow, glow, glow in their art as a way to, like, like as a protest to show, like, why it's bad. You know how, like, political art will, like, draw people. against the haters. That's what they do. Or to validate said haters. Anyway, also grab merch at shopsmgm.com. Still plenty of goodies there for you. Now There I already will said- be some new stuff in there soon, so keep an eye out. Mm-hmm. And I think they're going to bring back that I am so watermelon design. I'm going to get one of those. Well, so it- keep an eye. Yeah, in. exactly. Get, a- get another one, I mean. Yeah, plant that watermelon seed, let it grow, and then go to that shop and see what comes of it, right? Yeah, the link should be, like, what? literally right there. Don't question me, Courtney. And I have no idea what Chloe just said. I said what I said was truth, and it's on a philosophical thing, so don't even try. No, but, it's not. But now I already said where you left these questions and comments. If you didn't pay attention, the scroll back button is right there. Um, now, the first question or comment or whatever is from Ely. Eli or Eli? Eli? Eli eats kids. Oh, okay. That's one of the easier names, and you made it so difficult. I've never seen it written out, bitch, so excuse me. Okay? You've never seen Ellie? You've never no, seen I've never Ellie. seen Ellie. I've seen, the last, I've seen The Last of Us, okay? And I know that there is a girl in there, I think, named Ellie, and she didn't eat people. In the exact opposite. She was fighting things that did. So this name is very, you know, off. Maybe this is like the opposite of The Last of Us. Mm. This is The Many of Us. No. Okay. Hello, Cardassim. Oh, just one Cardassim. I guess they're just talking to that. One Cardassim, that Cardassim is me, number one. Or How- we're just as one unit. Well, no, 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 I was the number one. To talk. How just are you? What they have to say. Yeah, let me do that. How are you all today? I'm doing great. How are you two today? I'm great. That's great. Mm. First, I just want to say that Kim is the most watermelon sister. Oh, my God. Thank you. Shut up. Her Glow, Glow, Glow perfume is simply the best perfume ever. Oh, my God. Thank you. All all the boys are flocking over to me, and everyone says I smell beautiful. You're delusional. Mm. Yeah. The only minor problem is it makes my skin, skin glow an unnatural pink color, and mm-hmm. an old lady looked at me and passed out. Honey, how is this um, is your only problem? Like, you're saying that like, this is a small thing. I think you're imagining the boys flocking to you. Yeah, I think that the, 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 fumes, the fumes are causing hallucinations for this poor girl, this maybe pink it's, girl. Maybe it's like flies I think you or guys are just adding con- conjectioning I'm it just is. reading. It's called reading complex context. Mm, yeah. Um, anyways, Chloe with a C, ugh, the disrespect, you should really consider being less of a stupid bitch. Okay, well, right back at you. Wow. wow. Ellie, Ellie, eating kids. It's very annoying. Okay, well, don't listen to my podcast. And it's Courtney, not your podcast. And Courtney, my sister bought your no, no, no premium box and said she was extremely satisfied. So good job, As Queen. She should be. This person yeah, has no taste. Congratulations on that empty box, Eli. Yeah. My question for all of you, good, get to the point. My question for all of you is if you had to pick a new letter for all of your names to start with, well, you already picked one for me, honey, to start with, what would it be? 
I'm going to go with a C since apparently that's what you want for me. And to finish off this uh, statement, and I have a special question for you, Chloe, with a C. Why haven't you started your own brand like your sisters have? I she was doesn't thinking, have the business. I though. was thinking, ho, 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 like Santa, because you like cookies as well. P.S. Courtney is the second most watermelon sister. Chloe is third. LOL. Bye, ladies. Bye, bye, ladies. Yeah, bye to you, what Eli, a Eli, Ellie. Chloe, calm down. Shut yeah, up. And say the name Usually right. it's Kim who's I don't who's care to a... say the name right of someone who eats kids. Usually Kim is being attacked, so. Mm. Just... This is, well. I'm not being attacked. This person is just wrong, and that's okay. You know what I mean? I do like cookies. Now, Chloe with a C. Now, yeah, I guess I'll start with a C because, you know, incoherent people think my name begins with a C. Um, you know what I mean? I would say, well, okay, well, first of all, regarding the unnatural paint color, mm. that really has to do with the perfume is twofold. So it does two different things. Not only does it make you smell really beautiful and enhance your pheromones, it oh also does a little something called cleansing. So, cleansing? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. So when you spray it on, if you have certain, we all, the body sheds a certain layer of skin a day. So you're saying so, we're all pink inside? Uh, no. So all this perfume does is help speed up that process of exfoliating. So when you spray it on, if you have some dead skin there and it needs to turn over it will do that what the f are you saying that it's peeling That's off layers of skin and revealing like it the pink peels off every flesh? day we every day we lose a layer of skin chloe okay, like so that's it, just it's, science so it, it peels oh, your skin me. i've heard of that yeah it peels that but it's dead. peeling too much if you spray twice in the same area, that's why you have to be very careful about where it lands and where so you no spray crossover, it. no crossover at all. Like no, even on and it. you you don't want to do that with the perfume, anyways, because then this it wouldn't smell as good. You don't spray twice in the same area. You know, Kim, when you spray any sort of perfume, it doesn't just go directly on your skin; like mm -hmm. particles and stuff go anywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. That's okay? why you've got to be careful all at once. Uh, yeah, oh my God. If you movie. do it in the dark, the good thing about this perfume is why that do you it have does. To, you have to spray the perfume in the dark. Well, because why, it why has do you have a, to spray the perfume, period? It has period. a glowing element to it. So you can see where it's, it splatters, kind of like blood splatter when they're doing um, that blood. forensal thing uh, when they're looking at murders and stuff. If you spray it in the dark, there will be a glowing agent in it and you can see where it lands and it's like, okay, What's don't the point of that? don't spray in this area again. Anyway, listen, I say, you know what I say to you, um, Ellie, who eats kids, I would say use it. Use it more than well, you they, like think you should. Just spray your They yourself. are and they're having a great cover time. yourself. Oh, I love that. I'm in full support of them. And now what would you two want to start your letters off with your names? Don't forget that important question. There's like F different for both of you is what I'd start with. Well, oh. I wouldn't mind that then my name would be Fem. So the mm -hmm. name would be different, but we're, are we picking different Wait, no, names just or different just letters? It letter. says you're yeah, changing the, the first letter of your first name. I thought that's what it said. Yeah. Oh. So, so I, could I pick like, F for failure for both of you. But I think I would go with Sim. So you would start with an S? Yeah. So your name would be Sim Cardassim? Sim Cardassim, yeah. Okay. Courtney, what about you? A Q. Okay. Now, how would you pronounce that? Courtney. Moving on to... Ethan Booty Bash. Interesting name there. My name is Ethan Booty Bash. Yeah, honey, we read the name. And I love listening Booty to... Booty Bash sounds like a party made and just I, for ass. Yeah, I want to go. And I love listening to you, Chloe. Um, that's how they wrote it. Yeah, they wrote like, there's five, like five, ages, five ages. Nine ages. I love listening to me too. The fighter, warrior, and survivor... And Courtney, the all-powerful, almighty, and the other one, whatever she's called, I guess. Wow. Um, 
I bought Kems. Once again, spelled K H E M S. Catering to your yeah. talk. Don't. How about that? Don't. I bought Kums. I bought Kums. Glow, glow, glow. Big booty bubble buster bottle for my great, great, great grandma. Grandma? You, uh, oh. Okay. Um, Booski's great grandma. My great, great, great grandma Booski's. And it says Booski's. 70th birthday but so when i grandma is called boo your great boo- your great 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 grandma is 70 did your mom have and, you at like yeah and you, what's going on 12? with that mouth i mean and you have her wearing something like an uh, okay uh Bushki 70th birthday but when i opened the box it exploded surprised are we surprised by this and sent her into the into orbit And to the moon, and NASA had to do a search and rescue mission to get her back. But when the rocket ship got close to her, it blew up due to the radiation from the glow, 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 big booty bubble buster bottle, which had stuck to my grandma and turned her skin purple. So we're turning people's skin pink and purple. What's next? Rainbow. Obviously. <laughs> oh, that would be kind of flawless. We're going for every color, huh? Yeah, we're about to. I'm sure if there's you been know green. Skittles, I know there's you know, been green. You know, glow, glow, glow. <sighs> so then they had to call in SpaceX and fly Elon Musk to grapple her off the moon with a super mega sized crane, but the radiation made the crane malfunction and go crazy. This is insane. Poor which, grandma. Which I know, the 70, the 70 year old on her birthday, which launched her to Mars. I eventually gave up and decided to buy Courtney and Chloe's no, no, no spaceship edition box. And well, that's not mine. That's just Courtney's. I don't have any special edition boxes. Yeah, that was. We new. work with Cl- Courtney's team with her boxes to ship things out, but this is uh, uh, new to me, honey. Spaceship edition box, and to my surprise, it with. The nuclear radiation from the glow, 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 big booty bubble buster. Oh my God. And brought my grandma safely back to Earth. So, Courtney, you want to tell us about this box? That's quite an adventure. Well, it's not done yet. It's not done yet, but this spaceship, you have a spaceship box. We're trying to protect ourselves from Kim's products. Oh, that's that's smart. That's smart. I, now, this is the last part. Now, Kim or come, listen up. I am suing you, come, for sending my grandma to Mars and turning her purple. Do not buy her bioweapons, people. They will ruin your life. You all need to buy no, no, no. Though, it helped me through this traumatic event caused by come. Well, the only thing that is here, Ethan, is a whole bunch of lies. I mean, it's in your name, Booty Bash. You knew what you were getting into with Glow, 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 Big Booty Bubble Buster Bottle. Like, the main... Are you really trying to come... It seems like you're trying to come for Booty Booty Pop Juice with that name. No. Like, you're trying to no, pull people... No, this does the opposite. This does the knockoff. opposite. Not everybody wants a big ass anymore. So what they do is they buy a bottle of GGGBBBB, and what they do is they rub, you're supposed to, once you actually get the bottle open, you're then supposed to rub it on your butt, follow the instructions, and it will deflate your ass. That's the whole point of Big Booty Bubble Buster. Mm. It busts the ass that you used to have. Now, the mistake that you made was number one, opening it up inside. What? You can't open a product inside? What is this? No. like? What is- you have to be outdoors. You have to be outdoors. You have to follow the instructions. And it cannot, under any circumcision, it cannot be on a birthday. You are just making up sh- now. You made no. a product knowing that it could hurt people. How much did you charge for it? No, there's a... Tr- what, what a lot of people B-B-B-B-B. don't know is that there's a trigger word. Sometimes certain products have passwords that you're supposed to enter because there's a safe that this comes in. 
mm-hmm. not a safe, but like a box that has a passcode. You know how like luggages was it, have was that. It happy time? birthday. Yes. You don't sing that. You cannot sing that around that. It does the opposite of what you want. You are disgraceful. So you're telling me that this product can't be used as a birthday gift. Well, we have to have a word that can stop thieves. So do you know how many times the word birthday is said in the world? Only on a birthday that on a day that is a birthday. Hence why we say don't do that on a birthday. Well, that sucks. It can't be a good birthday gift. But it's a glow, glow, glow no, product. Or, it's never going to be a good perfect birthday for gift. for any other. We had Easter that just passed, according to when this comes out. Easter. Who the hell wants to find that in their Easter basket, a glow, glow, glow thing that's going to turn them purple? It doesn't turn you purple unless it's okay. Oh, my God. Bio weapons ever... for Easter. No. Have you ever heard? Maybe you can use it to color your eggs. When you're outside no. and you're looking for little Easter eggs and it's a yeah. sunny day. It's the bioweapon hunting. You go in the shade and then you you open this up. But the the thing is, you have to- Go into the shade. Yeah. You have to protect your product. I thought you had to be outdoors. You have to be outside, but you could be, you could, you have to be in the shade outside. So now, not only do you have to be outside, but you have to be in the shade. Yeah. Or go outside at night. And you can't say birthday. Oh my God, why are you making this so complicated? Because this is stupid. You're literally making it harder than what it what it needs to be. And my thing... You made it harder than what it needs to be, bitch. You released my this product. Motto, my motto is safety second. So when you do this, you have to make sure that the environment is right. Okay, it's a family outing. Get the kids inside. Go out into the sun, make sure you're in the shade, and then open up your this gift. And okay. No make sense. sure it's not on a birthday. Okay. Tell me if this sounds like a Easter event or a bioweapon attack. Throw this thing in the air, say mm-hmm. happy birthday, and it explodes. Now, have does that sound like confetti? Now, does this they sound like a bioweapon? It's not confetti. It sounds they like a bioweapon, honey. They parties all the time. What do you call a pinata? You think that is is safe? A pinata won't explode you into space. But it will explode if yeah. you hit it. Candy, bitch. My thing is, is that I want to protect my products from thieves. We have a lot of people. We have a lot of porch pirates out there, as they call them. So you just and say birthday. What if somebody says birthday while they're working on these products? It's like, hey, I heard you have a birthday come up. You have to be. Yeah. They, they've been told to be very careful and they've signed the right. They're probably files. not even allowed to speak at all. Well, <sighs> The well, I know she the makes better. them you know, work. That's, that's for safety reasons. That is well, you know she makes reason. them work birthdays. And they, like, like no one gets days off or holidays yeah, or holidays. anything like that. You can have half the day off for Christmas. You told them that you give them Christmas. You gave them the 23rd off, but not the 24th yeah. and 25th. Don't. Yeah, don't, I've don't, well, I, I well, remember that. That's part of evolving, Chloe. Yeah, evolving into bio. We evolved. We saw the messages we got. We saw the comments. So whatever come, we're going to move on. They get that morning off because that's when most people open up their gifts. Shut up. But that's just like, okay, then that's like telling a bank to not give a robber that thing that sprays you with like purple or, or pink or blue or whatever. The dime. What? That's called protection. I have the same thing. Are you talking about pepper spray? How is anyone no, supposed I'm to use your products? No, I'm talking about when when bank robbers steal from the bank and then they try to open it up and then they get hit with that die. That's like that's not for banks though. Yes, that's it like is. for products. Like whatever. No, like I'm saying I have the same kind of safety measure. I'm going to hand this product to you, say happy birthday and see what happens. And I still want you to do a video of you using one of these products. Don't think I forgot. Mm-hmm. And the people I, haven't forgotten I forgot can definitely either. have a video of a product. No, with you in it, using it. We're not doing this. You're going to do it. She's not going to mm-hmm. do it. Oh, she's going to do it. And I'm talking no. to mom about it. Don't. Yeah, we're doing it. If you believe in your product so much, you are going I to d- put I your money. You are going to put your believe. money where your mouth is. 
I would mom, mom believes believe. in you. Yes, so, she does. Yeah, we'll talk to her Great. about it. And I'm going to mention how much you are eager to do this. Anyway. You are such a bitch, Chloe. Mm-hmm. Proud of him. Okay, so for the next question, it's from Kim is the best. Well, interesting. Yeah, well, name. I agree. Mm-hmm. Hello, Cardi. Simply the best. Well, this isn't Tina Sim Turner. Mm-hmm. Better than all the rest. Hello, Cardassians. Happy 81 slash 82 episode. How did you know we were going to select you for 81 yeah, or 82? How did you know? Huh? What if we I picked mean, they this wrote from it, before? They wrote it under the thing that says episodes 81 and 82. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, but we that. sometimes we go back into other Exactly. Ones. So just for that, we're going to skip this one and put you in 83. Just kidding. This is my very first time writing to Cardassum listener response. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. Look at you. We're uh-huh. so glad you're here. Bad start with your name, but welcome. Normally, I don't write, but I just couldn't help myself. Hearing how badly Kim is treated by, oh my God, hearing how badly Kim is treated by her no name sisters. Oh my God, you're so right. Chloe Roach, Chloe Roach, excuse me, and Kay, what's her name? Wow, Courtney, they didn't even try. Wow. Um, Kim has the best business in the world that helps millions find their end. No, I'm sorry. No, that's not what it says. Helps millions find their inner truth. And thank you. Finally. Inner truth. And she also helped you to find fame. Helped you to. She's She's referring to us. Like we gained fame because of her. Please. Without her, your family would be living in total obscurity. Security. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I will say mom played a really big part in that. She is also a great inventor. Yes. Where? Honey, where? Yes. Did you miss the bioweapons, the purple, pink skin, the the Glowzillas? Uh, she invented Glow, Glow, Glow snake shampoo that helped, mm-hmm. wom- that helped women grow hair snakes to protect them from violence. What, you creating Medusas out there now? Well, that was a very limited time that we had out for Halloween. And if That's it did... crazy. If it... We made it mainly for, like, Halloween. Like, oh, you want to be Medusa. But you and said it was a limited time thing. Does it that was mean limited. So we had released after? it. Yeah, are the snakes gone after Halloween? The yeah, Well, I'm- it is permanent. It's permanent for three years. You created a whole oh bunch of Medusas. God. After three years, you just simply wash it off like a dye. Like, it's not... How do you protect, protect the snakes uh, from biting you, though? We're going to have to You can always on. have a visor or a beanie on. Let me finish this. Let me just finish this. She also invented the phrase, that's so watermelon. We've been over well, this. Well, that, is, she true. Did. that she is true. That is true. Oh, you're saying it like that is true, but everything else. No, that saying, I'm saying isn't like it. that as well is mm-hmm. true. So tell me, why are you so jealous of her? First yeah. of all, Kim is the best. Okay. We are not jealous of this bioweaponry creating uh, that? scam artist. Bitch. Uh, P.S. Courtney, can you try to speak with more energy? Because I can barely hear your voice when listening to the podcast. Not that you have anything interesting to say. Wow. Wow. That's a major burn. Mm-hmm. You're going to need some glow, glow, glow band-aids for that burn. No, I'd rather to, keep burning. To make it burn through? No, what you do is you set it on. I, I mean, we used to have a product for this before, but we've since improved it. So it's actually Glow, Glow, Glow Band-Aids Plus. So it comes Stop with one. Stop trying to promote your product. It's a box that will you. I'm just saying if you're ever burned out there, it's a box. It comes with one Band-Aid. You if place ever, it on your burn and you wait. If you ever want to get burned more. Get the glow, glow, glow band aid. That's what she's If you want to get burned with a good price and a good product, thank you everybody How for sending in. How about no burns? 
Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, so much for sending in your questions, your comments. They were just as disturbing as always. That's so, that's so, that's so, watermelon. The watermelon. 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 Welcome to segment two, That's So Watermelon, where we're given five random topics and we decide if each thing is so watermelon or so not watermelon. Thank you. Yeah. Why are you saying thank you? Well, I'm I'm just saying thank you because you didn't interrupt. You didn't. You can never just condescend. move on when when we don't make a big deal oh about it. You God. just can never move on. So that tells you us compliment. you're looking for attention, bitch. You're looking I was for attention. Yeah, you we were a finally compliment. not going to say anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, you so you, you both literally can't take compliments. Then okay, fine. First topic: temper tantrums. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Kim, this is about you. This topic, no, this clearly. is definitely oh, you, about oh, you. You whine and you cry all the time. That's a temper How tantrum. How is that having... I, okay, first of all, I no, don't she's, cry. That's emotional tantrum. Mm, well, well, then I guess we, you can re- talk about this, Courtney, because you get very emotional and Yeah, you know, I get angry. really heated. Mm-hmm. I'm very vocal about it when I'm angry. Yeah, so how do yeah. you two feel about this topic? I can't really speak on it. Well, I feel I, like when it's a clearly certain, not so it's still not watermelon. I feel like when a certain sister of mine who may or may not be blonde and has really big well, blonde hair I think, and I is, think Kylie's working the blonde right and now. And is very tall. Kylie's not tall. Kendall's I would tall, say though. and who wears a white tank top and blue jeans. Well, it's I not would white. Say, hypothetically, not white. if my sister Eggshell. I would say that over little things, something so as simple. In general, you're talking about t- t- temper tantrum. In general, yeah, hypothetically. Okay. Yeah. About when her, the about other day, her sister. You better keep the it other day way. when I asked this hypothetical sister, do you want some ice cream? And she completely lost her sh- because I didn't ask which spoon to use in which bowl. I need to use. Were you well, at it sounds like house? well, it sounds like said sister has a good a point. No, no, a good point because things are labeled for a reason. Yeah, and things and maybe uh-huh. maybe you didn't read right, but I think your sister, whatever sister you're talking about, because we have a lot of sisters, right? Mm-hmm. The um, a lot of tall blonde sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendall is up there, and well, you know, Kendall Kendall's is up there in height, and she's about. blonde sometimes. Well, I don't know who you're talking about, bitch. I don't I'm know who the about f- you're talking you. about, but I'm if you're gonna t- try me, okay. If you're gonna try me, whoa, whoa, there's the yeah, there's the temper. There's no, no, this is called tantrum. being a fighter and survivor, honey. This is survival of the fittest, and I am the fittest. So, sure. Now, temper tantrums. Now, temper tantrums are so not watermelon. I don't like them. And if you do them, you need to work on that. You do. You yeah. You literally. yeah. You do. You in the no, world. You. Whoever's listening. No. no yeah. You. 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 As in you. you Chloe. No. Perhaps. And you. You. Just no, keep you. your vo- You have to keep your voice calm. Like I can't me. hear you, Courtney. How about you give us some more energy and speak up a little? Anyway, I'm not listen to so not watermelon, voice. and and I deal with this every day, not personally with me, but just people around me. Yeah, I deal and with I, it, on a and I am a fighter level. and survivor, and it's so not watermelon. Period. I deal with it on a I think it's level. so watermelon. You do. Yeah, because I think it's hilarious when you lose your temper for no reason. Who, just, I don't know who this to, you is, Even honey. if it's directed at you. It just makes me laugh. Who is well, you? Yeah, that's true. Is that that TV show again? Are we talking about that TV show again? No. We're talking about you, Chloe. Oh, yeah. Awesome. No, no. Anyway, let's move on before I actually lose yeah, my t- temper. T- temper. You'll know t- when I lose my so temper, honey. Watermelon. Yeah, You'll know, know when I lose my temper. Let me get my popcorn ready. That's Shut gas up. lighter, gas lighter. Get some gas on that popcorn because you're a lighter of gas. <laughs> Next topic, pineapple soda. So watermelon or so not watermelon. I've actually had pineapple soda and I thought it was going to taste like sh- But then I drank it and I was like, oh my God. Ew. It's actually not bad. Really? It's not made out of pineapple juice though. It's not made out of pineapple juice. Yeah, but that's what I know of like pineapple juice. Yeah. So it's artificial. Yeah, it's artificial and it kind of made it taste good. I'm not going to lie. There's some pineapple candies that taste good. 
Well, the the pineapple, the juice actually does come from the leaves. So that's what that's the important no, part Kim. about having the what? I'm what? not gonna no it just let her come from the leaves. Yeah, it does. That's where it drips off. Have you tried a pineapple leaf? Yeah, well, I don't that's even where think they have leaves. They do. They're at the top. You've never seen SpongeBob, his house, the green at the top. Those are quite spiky. Yeah. And, and juicy, it, apparently. And that's where the juice comes from because you slice the pineapple in half. If you tilt it upside down, then it runs down the leaves. It's like a funnel. No. Okay. So if you were to turn it the other way, you don't think any juice would come out? No, because you have to turn it the right way. That's just like saying if I squeeze a lemon, will the juice come out? No, not unless you... If SpongeBob was here, he would slap you in the face right now. He would agree with me because if he were to turn his house upside down, he would see juice come out. Who says it isn't upside down? Who says that's the top of the pineapple and the bottom is the, uh, the core? Hmm? Do we ever think about that? But nobody ever wants to think one, about that. Because you can't see it Because nobody ever wants to think way. outside the pineapple. But I think uh, pineapple soda, back to the point, the artificial kind, it's, it could be yummy. So, you know, so watermelon or so pineapple in this case. Ugh. Next topic, FDA approved makeup. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Okay, now this is a touchy subject for no, one of our sisters. How is it a touchy subject? Well, you don't have it, honey. You don't have the approval, and you never have. I yeah, don't you just need, put it out there in the world. You don't I've seen you use approval. letters that can confuse people. Like you try to make it F B A, and you like change the letters, and you try to fool people. Think, oh no, look, it's FDA approved. No, honey, that's that's not a D. That's a B. I don't need the approval to sell my product. It was. It says biohazard, biohazard yes, approval. My makeup yeah. is. FBA approved. Uh huh. Which is food, food and Beverage Administration. Okay. Has approved my makeup. Oh, and you think that's something to write home about? That a well, that it allows a food me. and beverage association Why would has the approved food administration approved your makeup. No, they got it approved it because it's like, well, I guess we can approve this. I'm able to put at the top of my of my website in the about section FBA approved. Yeah, but that's not FDA, is it? It's you very think people will glance and not notice, huh? It's a slippery slope. Anyway, FDA approved things are so watermelon, and I advise anybody like Bitty Bitty Pop Juice is It's very by easy it. to get approved by F it's actually no, it's easy to get approved by F D F D A. It's hard to get approved by F B A. Well, I imagine they were about set into a loophole being, like when <laughs> You want to talk about being thorough. When you when they are going through food products and they come across your bioweapons. You must have promised them something for them to Like talk what? To what do they have to get like they don't gain anything? If, if they, anything well, the point is, is that they gave me the certificate. And they if sure they did. want um if they want a coupon, I'm sure that that will eventually happen one day when we offer coupons. FDA is so watermelon. I highly it, it advise yeah. I you think buy FDA. FDA. Honestly, honestly, FDA is overrated. They they just hand out their certificates like it's nothing because they don't really check the products. Okay. Now, FBA, okay. that is where it's harder because they critique it more. They look at it more. I think you're saying the opposite. No. Yeah, they look at it more because they're probably trying to see what, why FDA this approved. product. That's how you know you can't trust it. Is slipped, in their facility. You to obviously begin with. slipped through the cracks, honey. She is the cracks. Next topic: ice cream. So watermelon or so not watermelon? Depends I love ice what cream. What kind it is? Yeah, I love see, all ice cream. So you love even like butter pecan or whatever. Mmm. Peach pecan. Yes. I think I think certain ice creams have gone a little too far. I agree. Like so, you don't are, like the kind that has like the fudge and the chocolate. I don't and think the, I had a no, Thanksgiving ice cream one time. What no, did it, it taste like, like? Turkey, jam, and a little bit of ham. Ew. Ugh. 
gravy? Did you did he have like did some it, gravy? Oh yeah, sprinkle it on had top? A, it had a gravy topping. Ugh. Ew. I'm sorry, I asked. I, I just try to just to try. I think a lot of people are just like, well, if people like ice cream, they're definitely gonna like, and then they take whatever other thing. Like honestly, and this might be a little bit of controversials. I don't think that ice cream cakes should exist. You're wrong. I think They're delicious. cakes are great on their own. I think ice cream is great on its own. But together, who the hell wants to freeze their teeth? It is the coldest ice cream to exist. Well, it has ice to be solid. Cold. Well, it has to be really cold because it has to stay Solidif- solidified in that shape. The only thing I will say about that, what well, I agree with you on, is that sometimes like it's kind of annoying. It's like it like it can melt, whereas yeah. other cake can't. So you can just have them together. That's separately. what I'm saying. So but we're not you're, talking you're about ice cream cake. Go- or okay, well sometimes there's ice cream and then they put like a slice of cake in it. So that's delicious. Disgusting. They put cake in the ice cream. You mean like yeah. cake batter ice cream? Yeah. Yum. No. Except yeah. you would think, oh, good. cake batter, but they literally take a slice of cake and put it in the ice cream. Well, with I mean, sprinkles, and they always add sprinkles. Like, who, not every birthday cake has sprinkles. Why would you put sprinkles in the ice cream? It just looks more festive. But well, it's like. It makes it bitter. Well, listen, there's all kinds of different flavors. Like we discussed last time, there's orange soda cake that tastes like soda but it's not which by the way we held there was a poll for that on spotify if you were on spotify and you voted in that poll so on the spot on the spotify poll we had asked would you drink an orange soda that tastes like a slice of cake and literally 57 percent of the five almost 600 people that voted said yes as they should, because there is cake out there that tastes like oh orange soda. And we took that flavor that they use to make the said cake and we that put it into it our makes drink. No sense. Delish. Chloe. It's not just orange soda, it's orange soda flavored cake. That That's so confusing. No matter how many times you say it, it literally makes no sense. Well, fifty seven percent of people want to drink it. So Anyway, but back to but ice, back to ice cream, cream. It is so watermelon. It is so watermelon. Ice cream has itself and its base level without going crazy with the toppings. Like you don't need to put sour worms in mm, your yes, ice you cream. Yes, you do. You really don't want to go to those ice. You really, you're really shutting down those ice cream places where you can. Like, I'm put fine a whole with mixing different flavors, but like putting M and M's on it and. Oh my God! You speak to me. Like so, think, you're just very vanilla cum. No, I don't. I'm like fine with mixing in, and, and you're I'm fine with mixing in some vanilla. chocolate, some strawberry, some other types of flavors, some salted caramel. But I'm not. Oh, you're really going hard now. But some I'm brownie, not, I refuse, some brownies, some skittles, or even like cookie butter, which is d- like delicious. But I am not. I refuse to have like these foreign objects up my ice cream. Oh, I thought that sentence was going somewhere else. What? I love it all. And when I treat myself on my cheat days, honey, ice cream is just the base. I add yeah. a whole bunch of stuff to it. We have ice cream nuts. Yes, we do. And I have my ice cream alone nights. What if there was a salad ice ham. cream? Would you like that too, Chloe? Excuse me? A salad ice cream since you're no. so okay with all these other types of ice cream? No, that defeats the purpose. I I have salad all day. Last thing I want to eat is a salad, an ice cream that tastes like salad. An orange soda ice cream. Oh, my God. Okay, okay now we're talking. I'm sure that exists. It does. Last topic, coasters. So watermelon or so not watermelon? So watermelon. They are a must, and I have all my coasters labeled for each yeah. room. Coaster for living room, okay, coaster well, for bedroom. I don't, we don't have to have them labeled. Yes, we do. And they are so watermelon and they are a must in this household. And if you don't use one, <laughs> look out. It, Yeah, you'll see a temper tantrum. Am yeah, I right? you'll see a real temper tantrum. I haven't given you a temper tantrum on this You absolutely podcast. have. Several times. I yeah. would say coasters are, I, they, I agree with Chloe that they are 100% needed. You don't need to label them, but I do think they're needed. But yes, beyond that, let's not get crazy with how the coasters look. How so? I've seen some people have... coasters out there. I've seen some people have coasters that are like 
like the shape of a beer bottle or something like that. Or they're like the shape of like, oh, it's a cutesy little kitten or something. Mm, that's a little corny for my taste. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's let's not be corny. Like, let's be a little bit classy with our coasters and just a simple little cork type of coaster. Yeah. That can absorb Courtney. liquid. And, uh, so a vanilla coaster. Got it. Oh, yeah, my vanilla God. Plain. It, I am the opposite of vanilla. Have you seen yourself dance? It's pretty vanilla. Courtney, so how do you feel about the coasters? I know you're, it's not vanilla like Kim. And not the know. coasters. The group. I have coasters shaped like asses. That's pretty do entertaining. You? Now, yeah. how does that work That's with the only way for her to it? have like an a, ass. It's like a double set. True. So you could have two cups. One Interesting. on each cheek. So is, I don't want to know where the placement of like where the hole would be to set yeah. it down. Um, because Did like if it's on a round part. No, this is, these are flat coasters. Oh, okay. Table. Okay. Love yeah. that. Wait, you thought it was like an actual rounded ass, Chloe? That's what I'm saying. Like how could no, you? No, it's the, sh- you I get what she meant. It's like basically two circles next to each other. Yeah. Oh, Okay. Great. I think it could be a little bit more creative than that. Like what? If you were to make a coaster, what would it look like? Yeah, beautiful. A cockroach. Labeled. Cockroach. First of all, cockroach. labeled. <gasps> cockroach, yes. And it would say fighter and survivor roach. And it'd be so cute. I'm going to look into that for manufacturing. Oh, my God. Didn't, we, my just idea. Say, didn't it? we just sh- say that shaped coasters is are corny? Is this Chloe's We did, new but line? Not, not when it's cockroach with a K. Then it has like that has the ultimate class to it. No. It's not Chloe, you could, Chloe, you could start your new product right there, cockroach coasters. Exactly. Oh my god! So, if you guys are wondering where my new brand's gonna go, it's gonna go here. Yeah, coasters. Everybody needs them. A, everybody wants them, and they're appetizing. Who doesn't want to see a cockroach on their dinner about to table? Say, you literally walk in and you forget that you have that coaster, and then you'll want to. Sc- break your coaster. It's not going to be hyper detailed like that. It's going to be cute. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be cockroaches. Let us day. know if you want cockroach coasters in the shop simgm.com. Yeah, and we'll see if it's possible yeah. to get that there. It's going to be so, I don't know. Who's the smartest? Me. 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 Okay. It's time for segment three. Who's the smartest? We're given three random words we don't know and we try to guess what they mean. Whoever guesses the closest is the smartest. I'm ready. I'm feeling so good about this. Me too. Not as good as me, you but... You still <laughs> sound like it, Courtney. Yeah, I'm You're gonna in... nail this. Yeah. First word. Leptospira. That sounds like something that would say in an... an like a, like a... Shut up. L-E-P-T-O-S-P-I-R-A. Leptospira. Okay, I'm going to say that it is a disorder that deals with the spine of some sort. Yeah, I mean, I was going it, to... It actually kind of sounds like jumping in a circle, leapt, and then spira. Like so like a spiro. 360 or just like... Or yeah, like, spiral, spira. Uh, you jump in a circle... Or your spine, like, but not like, not like a car spinning out or something. No, you're leaping in a circle. Mm. So you're leaping like a bunny in a circle, or you're in one spot and you're jumping in a circle. Yeah, I think it means you have like lapse of memory loss. Like your leptospira. If you have like, leptospira. Like like amnesia almost or like you're, just you just like you're forgetful. So you forget certain little things. Like in that movie Fifty First Dates. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so the word comes from leptospirosis and it is a bacterial disease that affects humans and animals. I get, should I get like half a point? Because okay, I said well, you, disorder. You did more, say disorder. To be more specific, a bacterial disease spread through the urine of infected animals. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, well, okay, I'm going to get half a saying. point here. Come on. I said no, it was a you, disorder. You did say disorder, but this is a disease. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not going to do no. that. That's what I was talking about when I said this disorder. This is a disease spread by your piss. Okay. But I said disorder and disorder and disease are like, that's what I was thinking. Okay. I was going to say disease, but disease and disorder are the same thing. Oh, okay? uh, well, that's a slippery slope. Okay. So have been I'm all the other things that you guys said. You guys have given yourself half points. Disorder and disease can be seen as the same thing. No, disorder is something that... While these like, two terms are often used interchangeably by healthcare providers, there are subtle differences. Okay, so even people... Did you just say subtle? Yeah, subtle differences. So subtle. even so, so even subtle differences. So even people who work in the healthcare industry use these, okay? And there's no, little they, differences. Yeah, they use them, but not interchange change it are it's often so used interchanged interchangeably often used okay oh my god if you want to have not, a point it's not a disorder of the spine though it's not yeah. but you guys have said words that have okay. been freaking so, so we can avoid a temper tantrum I'll give yeah you, you want one i'll give you one i'll give you a point half a point no half a point wait what half of a half so point twenty five. Wow. Point two five point. Wow. So okay. So now because it's me, Who we're gonna to lower do that it. Math, Courtney. Next word: calipigian. I don't know. Calipigian. C a l l i p y g i a n. I think it has to do with the skin of fruits and vegetables. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. To me, it almost sounds like Calliope, who was the myth goddess of some sh**. But I think it almost sounds like gelatin, calipigian. Actually, it sounds like a type of dance. Or a class, like a, a certain, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm picturing like Roman times, like people in their cloths and robes, and they're of like a Calipigian class, a society of Calipigian. Hmm. I hope I don't regret saying that later. But what? Saying what? That it's sexy. Okay. I think it means... To have the shape or maybe even do the action of a caterpillar. I, I mean, listen, there are weirder things out there. Where do you so see you're very caterpillar? You're acting very calipigian right now. You're acting like a caterpillar? The way he was on the yeah. dance floor was very calipigian. How, like How do you not act the, like not a the cal- worm, not the worm, not the worm, but the, worm, but the, worm, the, cat- the calipi- cali- calipigian. Oh, to act like a caterpillar. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Why not? There's a word for everything, so. Yeah, there really is. I've learned. Okay. It means having a well-shaped buttocks. Wow. Are you kidding me? So this is like a word that describes me. This is actually a word that's us. Me. No, both of us. Okay. But mainly me. Okay, sure. Oh, my God. Glow, 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 Calipigian pillows coming no, soon. No, this, this word describes the brand that I work so with, Booty Booty Pop okay. Juice. Courtney, Courtney. It's actual, I mean, there's pictures of asses all over this. Courtney, your coaster is Calipigian. That it is. Somebody had sent us a Calipigian sand art. Yes, they did. They and did. the statue of David has a well Calipigian. He, well, yes. his, his, the whole thing isn't shaped like an ass. It's not, but it has one. Yeah, it has one. That's not the same as being in the shape of. Yeah, no, it's about, no, it's not being the shape of. It just has to be about yeah, having it, well-shaped buttocks. Oh, oh, okay. It's not about it just like the whole thing, is it? Like anything can have a calipicious. Yeah, like sp- so you would say your your ass is calipicious. 100%. And be thanks As to booty an adjective, bo- it's calipicious. Okay, well, okay. booty, booty, pop juice. Get your calipicious. If you want your, if you want your butt to look calipicious. Get 
booty booty pop juice nothing no yeah your product that that person was using literally was about diffusing it if you want your butt to be calipicious get the glow 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 big booty bubble buster bottle that doesn't make any sense that's literally about making it smaller yeah you said well maybe it was lumpy before and then you want a nice actual solid good looking ass Mm, I'm sorry honey this word works better with the product that I work with no it absolutely does not Mm. Last word, Najin Trippy, Najin Trippy, N E G E N T R O P Y. I swear I've seen this word before, and I hate mm-hmm. that I can't think of what it is. Mm-hmm. Najin Trippy, Najin Trippy, Najin Trappy, Najin Trappy. Najin Trappy. I'll just say it seems like something that's left for a long time. Neglected, so it's Ninja. going through n- 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 the gin trappy, mm. like deteriorating, getting, yeah, and getting dusty. Like the like like how like people explore the Titanic under water, it's like rusted mm-hmm. over, and it's ninja n- trappy. I think it honestly has to do with the coral reef. Oh, really? Yeah, like not the barnacles that grow on it and around it and stuff like that, but just in general, I do think it's related to the coral reef. Like the the process of a coral reef growing is Nijin Trepi. You know what? I don't know if you were reading my mind. Like, wow. 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 What made me think of that? Yeah. It's only been said a million times. Yeah. Well, I'm wrong every single time. There's so many things. Well, it could be. It could be right now. You're not going to steal my thunder, okay? So well, I was going to say this for the first time. I let you guys go first, and you steal my answer. So that's no, you nice. literally couldn't think of anything. No, that yeah, is. I, I gave it a couple seconds. Yeah. It is my. It is always my go-to. Okay, it is my go-to. It's either and, and it has not been right for you once, so maybe it's time. Well, it could do with coral reefs. It It could do with coral reefs, and it could deal with the, you know, the plantary that grows on the coral reefs. Truly, I already said it's the process of a coral reef growing. Okay, I literally just said that. Well, all I know is is that it has to do with coral reefs and the botany of anything that surrounds it and the coral itself, or anything about that. Oh my god! If you say botany, you're like guaranteed to get a half point. So yeah, now you're saying like half. No, I'm saying that it's it's possible of the coral reefs and the botany of them mixing together. Typically, the coral is underwater, right? This has nothing to do with the ocean, yeah. right? So it's underwater, and there's plants, and there's coral reefs, and it could be anything like that. Things becoming more in order. By order is meant organization, structure, and function. Wow! Wow, Chloe, this so is this your word is about word. me. This word's about me. The one time you actually should have said like organizing or something. I've right. never guessed. I've never put my you know what I do Disease. on my own time. Excuse me, or disorder no, of what I put disorder, on my own you're time, right, you're and you know into this. But that's interesting. This word is me. Like I, I feel like the theme of these words this week are all surrounded by you know, yeah, me. You know, and, I have and, a well shaped ass, and I am organized. And you also have a a, a bacterial disease that comes out of your piss. No, no. You said all the but words. But I do, to do you know. You. Yeah, they do have to do with me. And I do have a sister that deals with that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening thank in you. this week. It's been such um, yeah. a great time. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I yes. I hope you had a great Easter if you celebrate it. Yes. I hope you have a great Easter if you, you do celebrate it. Went out in the sun, went out in the shade. Yes. Exchanged the gift that I, I'm selling. No. Not for birthdays. Yeah, yeah. That's so ridiculous. If you have a birthday or if you're watching a video or anything just where someone's saying birthday, don't, don't get that product. product. It's very simple. Once it's opened, it's a little bit easier to handle. But We're not talking about this again. Safe. Anyway, uh, good night. Good morning. Good um, morning. I hope you're having a good drive. Are you sleeping? Are you eating? Are you on your laptop? Doesn't matter. 
or as they listening. say in Spanish, Diaz Buenas. To the Cardassian podcast. podcast. Thank you so much. We should say that together at the end. No. Cardassian no. podcast. Never mind. No. Mm-hmm.